We are inching closer to having a winner in the presidential election. President Donald Trump or Democratic candidate Joe Biden need 270 votes in the Electoral College. Right now, former Vice President Joe Biden is just four votes away from taking it. And when you look at the Associated Press numbers, which have Arizona for Biden, the race for the White House hinges on just a handful of states where the ballot con counting continues. Nevada, Pennsylvania, and Georgia still have not been called along with North Carolina. Now, the Trump campaign has filed multiple legal challenges across several states with the latest filed in Nevada. The president celebrating a ruling in Pennsylvania, which allowed his campaign officials to observe the vote count. His lead over Biden in the Keystone state has shrunk as outstanding ballots from Democrat-friendly areas continue to be counted. Whether you voted for Donald Trump or you voted for Joe Biden, everybody has a right to witness what's transpiring here. This makes it look like a kangaroo court. We deserve better, and we're not leaving until we witness every single vote that transpires in here. Democracy is sometimes messy. It sometimes requires a little patience as well. But that patience has been rewarded now for more than 240 years. The Trump campaign's litigation strategy also has has its has also hit setbacks. A Georgia court dismissed a lawsuit over absentee ballots, and in Michigan, a judge denied the Trump campaign's request to halt halt ballot counting.